So buying cryptocurrencies don't have to be tough. Um, and with Hopi Exchange, there are quite a few ways you can get started buying your first cryptocurrency. So for those of you that have no idea what Hopi is, basically it's a crypto to crypto exchange that allows you to trade cryptocurrencies and at the same time has features like P2P, which allows you to trade crypto to fiat and vice versa. It has staking features and a high use savings account. So when you first create an account, um, there are some KYCs that need to be done to unlock certain features and functions. And the following few features that we are going to cover will require some KYC. Otherwise, you're able to still deposit and trade cryptocurrencies as per any other exchange, just that your limits will be a bit lower. Lower. So if you already have cryptocurrencies available, you can log in by clicking on the top right hand corner. You see the login icon. You can log in via scanning a QR code with your Hopi app or keying in your login details. So depositing is pretty simple. Click on any token you want or search for the token that you want. You can get a deposit address and you just have to paste it into the other wallet that you're transferring from. And for those of you without crypto, fret not, purchasing crypto on Huopi is super easy. So once you have signed up and done your KYC, there are two main ways that you can purchase cryptocurrencies. So the first way is via quick buy and sell with a credit card. And the second way is via the P2P market. So like the name suggests, quick buy and sell allows you to buy or sell cryptocurrencies very quickly. But it does come with some fees which might be pretty high depending on the bank that you're using because it uses a credit card or a debit card. So the purchase is very simple. You can either pay with a Visa or a MasterCard. And there are a variety of cryptocurrencies that you can purchase and the exchange rates will be displayed when you select the cryptocurrencies that you want to buy. And upon payment, the cryptocurrencies will then be released into your exchange wallet. So on the wallet page, you'll be able to see the breakdown of the funds that you have. So once you have purchased your cryptocurrencies with Visa or Master, the cryptocurrencies will appear in your wallet. And from here, you can either purchase more cryptocurrencies or transfer them into your exchange wallet and start trading on Huopi. The P2P or the peer-to-peer -peer market allows you to trade cryptocurrencies directly from other Huopi users. And it supports more than 60 payment methods across 57 fiat currencies, enabling you to purchase cryptocurrencies easy and securely. So to make a transaction via P2P is pretty simple. You'll be able to filter it by either fiat currency, cryptocurrency, or payment method. And when you have selected the cryptocurrency that you wish to purchase, you can view the different advertisers and select the price that you wish to purchase your cryptocurrency set. So what I really like about this is the security feature. Sellers or buyers must release the cryptocurrencies within a stipulated time when they have received the funds. And these usually range between 5 to 15 minutes depending on the type of buyer and seller and the conditions that they have for the transactions. So like myself, I do sell USDT and buy them as well and I usually do it within 15 minutes. So once the cryptocurrencies are received, it will appear in your fiat wallet and from here, you can either purchase more or transfer them into your exchange wallet to start trading or using it on the exchange for different functions. So selling on the P2P market is also very simple. In this case, you need to transfer your cryptocurrencies from your exchange wallet or your margin wallet into your fiat wallet. So once that is done, you can go to the P2P market and look for the list of supported cryptocurrencies and select the one that you wish to sell. From here, you can select the crypto you want to sell to the advertiser or the buyer of your crypto. So when you select a buyer, the buyer will then transfer fiat to you depending on the payment method that you have selected. So for me, usually it's pay now, um, there's also grab pay, there's also bank transfer. So as a seller, once you receive the fund, you will have to release the cryptocurrencies within a stipulated time. In the event of a dispute, hope you will freeze the buyer's or the seller's accounts. I dispute this. This ensures that the parties involved are not able to move any cryptocurrencies out of the exchange, thus ensuring that your funds are safe. We're safe! We're safe! If you haven't signed up with 4P, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get started. And by completing new tasks as a new user, you'll be able to receive a welcome bonus of $170, which will help you get started on your crypto journey. So that's the end of today's videos. Um, these are two ways that I purchase my cryptocurrencies, but I use P2P more often than the credit card method. Um, do let me know in the comments down below, how do you guys purchase your crypto? So if you haven't, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.